Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, there's a clip. Bastard. You're welcome. Cliffy. Bastard. <laughs> Evans. <laughs> you. Bastard. Okay. I'm sorry, I called you a bastard then, George. <laughs> <laughs> and I really meant every word of it. <laughs> <laughs> On the bottle as well. There we go. There we go. Hello, everyone. Um, so, uh, an observation of comedy for you now. Um, so, so, you know it's like, you, you know it's like, you, you're walking around your house and you can't find it. You can't find it anywhere. You're looking around, you look under the sofa, you look under the bed, on the kitchen side, and then it's there, isn't it? You look in your hand, and there is the ransom note. <laughs> so, you're taking your kids. And your phone. <laughs> Call this number to receive both. <laughs> Joke on that. I don't have a phone. They've just taken it. <laughs> and also, I don't have any kids. They've just taken them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That was just, that was just... <laughs> Some impressions for you now. Impression number one. You fucking dickhead! You fucking dickhead! Get me out of the ground! Get me out of the ground! Get me out of the ground! I'm old trees! I'm old trees! And I, I'm old trees! Get me out of the ground! Crude oil. <laughs> <laughs> Refined oil. I say. Would you mind awfully putting me in your car? Barista. <laughs> Fresh number four. Objection, my lord. Barrister. <laughs> Bannister. 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 <laughs> and finally. <laughs> this is an impression of a man without a spine. <laughs> <laughs> or, or as he's otherwise known as the Right Honourable Sir Keir Starmer! Hey, well. Yes! Down with the government! They're not in power! I don't know who are they? Are they still not? Who's, who's voted today? Who's voted? <laughs> Oh. Jesus Christ, come on! Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Oi, oi! What does it mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Oi, oi! What does it mean? What does it mean? It's like it's built into your brain, isn't it? Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oi, oi! Why do we know that? Where's that come from? Oi, oi! Oi, oi! No, stop it! Oi, 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 do believe, oi. Oh, 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 oi. Do it again. Oh, oi, oi, oi. What does it mean? Why are we saying this? Oh. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> what do these things mean in our lives? What do they mean? I'll tell you what I'm worried about, mate. Cake. I'm really worried about it. You know when you're scrolling through your newsfeed? <laughs> <laughs> when you're scrolling through your newsfeed, and there's a little video there. There's another little tortoise sat there, perching on a little stone. You go, ah, oh, little fella. I think it's nature's created for you. And suddenly, a knife comes out. <laughs> With a knife comes, surely not on the tortoise. Pierces the tortoise's shell, goes right through him, through the rock. It's only a bloody cake, isn't it? <laughs> it's a cake. Do you not find that worrying? What? What if? What if? One day I'm having that last fight with my mum and I finally stab her. <laughs> I only discover she's a bloody Vattenberg. 
What does it mean for reality? What if, what if all this? What if, what if this is a cake? What if, what if this is a cake? What, what, if it, what if I'm a cake? What if all reality itself is just cake? Just one strong knife and suddenly, boom. Red velvet's everywhere. <laughs> what if reality itself is just one big cake? One day we're going to see a massive cosmic knife come down. Slides through the earth, through the galaxies. Only find out we're a multiverse of a tea party. <laughs> and God's mother. What also worries me? Stanley Tucci. You know the actor Stanley Tucci? You know he's got a series at the minute on BBC. Stanley Tucci eats Italy. I want to go to Italy. I want to see Rome. But I can't if Stanley Tucci's been eating it. Rick Stein's eating Italy as well, you know. And you bloody firmly wedding stall. They're all eating Italy. France will be next. I want to see culture. I want to see things baked beautifully by the Romans. Whole oh, Colosseum made of butter. Is that a cake mixture butter? Yeah, why not go for it? Yeah, butter! Yorkshire puddings! And the sweet rolling hills of Yorkshire! And the whole cast of Emmerdale! And just Yorkshire puddings! They're all Yorkshire puddings! EastEnders, they're all eel pie! Cockles! They're selling cockles! Get your goggles here! Oi oi! Fuck! What does it mean? What does it mean? Now, this is a true story. I was walking, uh, I was, uh, I work at a charity in World, World, um, called Big World, and we were invited to the Mayor's Ball on the pier, and I can say, the Mayor's Ball was lovely. Uh, next year we're going to see his other ball, <laughs> and then the third year we're going to see his penis, <laughs> that's where the joke was going. But then the fourth year, you see the penis is ball, it's great. It's got a little chain as well, the little mayor we call it. Hello, I'm the little mayor, how's me on you in? Who put water next to cables? <laughs> <laughs> A friend of mine, Mr. Man, she works at the charity. We're walking, so we're going there, and we're walking now. I'm walking, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Someone looks great. She looks amazing. I love her sack of spuds, but she looks amazing. She's got a nice dress on. She's all blue, in blue. Got a little cut there, which she legs. Great. She, look, she looks fabulous. And then suddenly, from behind us, across the road, we hear, "Oi, oi!" <laughs> we turn. We look to the pub where it's coming from. Of course. And a man has just shut the door, went shut the window like that, and walked away. Which means he got up from his seat. Which means he went, drink this pint. And the man didn't quite say. Drink this pint. I've been that young lady who needs some confidence in her life. Got up, walked over. Clunk, clink, thump. Aye! No, it's only good there. <laughs> Terry think Terry. What was Terry thinking? Did Mark come over? Did Mark come over to Terry? He said, oh Terry, you know, I don't, you don't dish out your oils a lot. What do you do? I know you mean them. I bet that, I bet that girl feels really confident in herself these days now that you just said oi oi to her. Yeah, it's shorthand, isn't it? It's shorthand. It's shorthand for aren't oh, you an amazing woman progressing through life on your own? You don't need anyone. You're a wonderful woman. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Terry. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice actually. Yeah. I wish one now I could get the oil away from you. Oh well, you know, well, you know Mark, you're, you're a great guy, you know, maybe, maybe one day when you're walking down the road. I mean, you know, if you're out there right now, I'd be saying, oil to you as well. You mean that, Terry? Yeah. I do in a funny way. <laughs> oi, oi! oi, oi! Finish off this famous, this famous advert. 
Ho, ho, ho. Green, Green giant. giant. Green giant, yeah? Green giant? Green giant sweet corn? During the advert back in the old days, two kids sat at a table. And one says, My mum says, You are what you eat. Oh boy, there he goes. What? If I eat French fries, I can speak French. <laughs> yeah! And if I eat rudder beans, I'll become a runner. Oh, a sweet corn. Well, what's this then? Mum comes over. Hot green giant, green corn! Green giant! Oh, oh, oh. I don't eat sweet corn. I've got my friends who do. They all eat green giant sweet corn. My question is this. Are any of them green giants today? <laughs> Not a one! Well, actually, there's one person, yeah, Sarah. Sarah, she's a green giant, yeah, she's pretty big. Obviously, she's a giant, she's a green giant, big giant. She works for uh, British Telecom, so the mass, you know. So she can reach, she can reach the mass, but she can get up there. Quite tall as our Sarah. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty tall. Uh, I just fancy her at school, actually. She's, uh, yeah, she really, oh, she's really grew up. She lives down my road, uh, there's a little beanstalk in the road. Yeah, she's, she's really nice. Terrible taste of boyfriend today. She had a boyfriend called Jack. Um, Awful. Uh, Awful, it wasn't. So, uh, one day, I was asleep, you know. It's hard sleeping, isn't it? Hard, hard, sleeping, hard sleeping. And I hear this massive thud. It's Sarah. She's fallen off the beanstalk. Not only that, we all rush out. All the neighbors rush out. She's there, fallen down, broken her pelvis. Jack has hacked away at the beanstalk. She's lying there. He's taken her bloody golden egg. I don't know why British Telecom pay golden eggs. Uh, it's a weird currency. I don't want to get a golden egg, really. It's a strange thing. She's lying there. We've got, we've got to call the ambulance now. So the ambulance come. They've got the big ambulance. Thank God. They've got the big ambulance. And, um, and also we've got to try and get on the ambulance. And it's, it's a hell of a task. But luckily, V5 fell fix. The ambulance crew bought a wheat fix. So we lift her on, shock her in back, take her to Bristol. Um, what's it called? Alright. No, that was. South Mead. South Mead, that's it. There you go, cheers. Bristolians, everyone! Hey. Hey. They're right here tonight. Um, anyway, so we get in the atrium, and everybody's been fearing, makes a massive atrium. Doctor looks at her and goes, Oh, she needs singing. What? Sweet corn. It's obvious when you think about it. <laughs> green giant, sweet corn. What's a green giant? <laughs> Unbelievable stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Other things people say. Like, oi oi, that's one of them. Stop it. <laughs> Guilty over there. We're working the other day, we're working the other day, working hard. Jess comes downstairs and goes, Working hard? Oh, how are we working? <laughs> that little, little crooner voice you do. Oh, how are we working? <laughs> hey, am I right? Am I right? You know what I'm saying? Another one people always say, it's funny, it's funny little comment, a little funny, funny little comment. They always say, uh, it's. I, I'm going to make generalisation here. It's normally people who, who've been married for over 50 years. And they, someone says, oh, how long have you been married to your partner? And they go, oh, 15 years now. And then something in their brain goes, <laughs> you get less for murder! <laughs> oh, that classic one, you get less for murder. What a terrible sentence from marriage. <laughs> I sentence you to marriage. And over there's the barrister. Oh, that's priest, that's a priest, I booked the wrong one, I'm very sorry. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, my lord. Sorry, sorry. You can't slide down the barrister. No, you can slide down the banister, but you can't. I'm pretty sure you can slide down the barrister. No, that'll get you off. Not like that. Oh, jeez. Um, well, uh, um, um, that's the end. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah.